Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at noon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. I'm Alexandra Carter. Dairyland Power Cooperative is making major strides toward cleaner energy. That was the key message at the co-op's annual meeting this morning. CEO and President Brent Ridge outlined ambitious plans to significantly boost renewable power production over the next decade. He highlighted the March demolition of the Genoa coal plant as a milestone in the company's ongoing shift to provide more sustainable electricity. And outside Dairyland's meeting, a group of environmental activists, including Sierra Club Wisconsin, are protesting one of the co-op's planned projects. The Nimaji Trail Energy Center is a new gas plant proposed by multiple power companies to be built in Superior, Wisconsin. Dairyland says it's to increase the company's base power supply in case its renewable resources are not to be enough to provide power to its members. The coalition believes the money going toward building NTEC should instead be used to build more renewable energy resources and retire the remaining coal power plants in Wisconsin. Well, a good uh, Wednesday afternoon to you. Boy, another round of wet weather yesterday, although plenty of dry time as well. Most of the rain in the La Crosse area fell last night, and only uh, about uh, three-tenths of an inch, or a quarter inch, I should say, fell in the La Crosse area. Higher totals to the north and west, where you see these darker greens, uh, half an inch to an inch and a half, and where those yellows are in the parts of Buffalo and Fillmore counties, perhaps over an inch and a half of rainfall. So yet more wet weather for the region. Uh, the good news, we've had plenty of sunshine and dry weather through the morning hours. It's also less humid today, a little breezy, especially this afternoon. Chance for some more showers and storms later today into early this evening. There'll be a lot more hit and miss, though, and then mainly dry tomorrow through the weekend. You can see this morning's rain has now pushed well to our east, but uh, some additional scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms trying to get going off to the north and west here, and that's what we'll be tracking for later today into this evening. Current temperatures in the 70s, and we will see highs today uh, right around 80 degrees in La Crosse. Many more details to come with my eight-day forecast in just a few minutes. All right, Bill, we'll see you then. Thank you. A gunman was shot and captured after an attempted attack on the U.S. Embassy outside of Beirut, Lebanon. Authorities say the suspect, a Syrian national, opened fire outside the embassy. No staff members were injured. As Imtiaz Tiab reports, tensions are high in Lebanon since Israel's war in Gaza. Well, at exactly 8.34 a.m. local time, a gunman opened fire outside the embassy compound. This cell phone video captures what appears to be the shooter and the Lebanese army exchanging fire. The attacker, a Syrian national, was shot and is now hospitalized. And in a statement, the embassy said the building and those inside were safe. Now, I've been to the U.S. Embassy, which is just north of Beirut, and it is in an extremely secure area. To get anywhere near its entrance, you must cross several checkpoints and security barriers. Now, it was moved outside of the capital following a massive suicide bomb attack back in 1983, which killed more than 60 people. And since Israel's war in Gaza started in October, tensions have been extremely high in Lebanon as the Iran-linked Hezbollah movement and the Israeli military exchange fire almost every day along the southern border. In Fios Time, CBS News, East Jerusalem. And the Senate is expected to vote on a bill that would guarantee access to contraception nationwide. The Right to Contraception Act would enshrine into federal law a right for individuals to buy and use contraceptives, including birth control pills and condoms. The measure is part of Democrats' push to highlight reproductive issues. As the U.S. marks two years since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, the legislation is expected to fail in a procedural vote due to GOP opposition. Republicans have called the bill political and overly broad. The House passed its first funding bill for fiscal year 2025 this morning. The measure deals with veterans affairs and military construction, but the bill also has partisan sections in it, such as abortion. Republicans are aiming to pass a dozen spending bills before the August recess. Those are not expected to advance. The House bill passed today would dedicate about $380 billion for the VA and military and housing construction programs. The GOP says the measure would fully fund health care for vets. After years of setbacks and delays, Boeing has finally launched two NASA astronauts into space. The Starliner capsule, there it goes, lifting off. 
lot from the Kennedy Space Center with astronauts Butch Wilmore and SUNY Williams on board. It was their third try after the last two attempts were scrubbed for safety concerns. Boeing designed and built Starliner, but it's years behind schedule and more than $1 billion over budget. Boeing has a decades-long uh, history of, of expertise in spaceflight, but they've really had problems with the Starliner. Now, the, the recent delays they've had were due to the rocket, the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. These were more run-of-the-mill mechanical glitches that were fairly easily fixed. The Starliner is on its way to the International Space Station now, where the astronauts will spend a little more than a week. If you had trouble connecting with friends or family on AT&T's network yesterday, you weren't alone. The carrier and FCC now investigating a nationwide outage. We'll have those details for you after the break. During Home Furniture's Memorial Day sale, get an extra 10% off sale prices or no interest financing for three years. Plus, get hot buys like this two-piece sectional for $9.99 or this queen bedroom suite for $7.59. The Memorial Day sale at Home Furniture ends Wednesday. Do you suffer from burning pain, coldness, numbness, tingling in your hands, legs, or feet? And worst of all, balance problems? Have you been told you have peripheral neuropathy? Stop what you are doing because there is help in a healthy way. We see physicians across the country throw a drug cocktail approach at this condition, getting minimal, if any, relief while neuropathy progresses toward being confined to walkers and wheelchairs due to amputations and disabilities. Drugs like gabapentin, Lyrica, Cymbalta, or opioids are designed to hide neuropathy but not fix it and often come with dangerous side effects. Finally, there is a proven path to recovery that thousands of patients just like you have experienced. Our breakthrough non-invasive neuropathy treatment is supported by FDA-cleared technologies based on published clinical evidence, creating a 99% satisfaction rating. More exciting, our patients enjoy our home therapy to conveniently accelerate healing. If you want your health freedom back, don't choose to suffer any longer. Call now. Spots are limited to the first 20 callers. Call today so we can help in a healthy way. Your adventure starts here at Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls. We've got something for everyone. Explore hundreds of miles of off-road fun. Cap off the night with the crew by spinning up even more excitement. Or slow it down and relax. Just the two of you. Your adventure awaits outdoors, indoors. Call or visit Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls today. Experience the difference. Trail Riders Package available. Asher Lasting Exteriors is committed to craftsmanship, innovation, and outstanding customer service as Western Wisconsin's window and door replacement experts. Our superior quality, energy-saving windows and doors from the trusted brand of Renewal by Anderson are skillfully installed by certified technicians and backed by some of the strongest transferable warranties available. Join us for our summer showroom sale Thursday, June 13th at either showroom in Eau Claire or on Alaska. Enjoy summer savings with up to 25% off your entire purchase at Asher Lasting Exteriors. During the Memorial Day sale at Home Sleep Express, get up to $1,200 off Beautyrest Black Adjustable Sets. Pay no interest for five years and get a free gas grill. Plus, get free delivery and setup on Beautyrest Black Mattresses. The Memorial Day sale at Home Sleep Express. Welcome back. The Federal Communications Commission and AT&T are investigating the cause of a brief nationwide outage yesterday that prevented customers from being able to make wireless calls to non-AT&T users. The carrier says the issue has since been resolved and calls from AT&T customers to 911 weren't impacted. The war over tipping culture continues. A new survey from Bankrate released today shows nearly three in five Americans have at least one negative view of tipping. While the survey found negative views on tipping tend to increase with age, older Americans still tip more at restaurants. 86% of baby boomers say they always leave a tip when dining at sit-down restaurants, compared to just 35% of Gen Z. Dollar Tree is considering selling or spinning off Family Dollar. The company acquired the chain in 2015 for $8.5 billion. Dollar Tree was hoping the merger would help it compete with bigger rivals, but the company is still wading through the mess it inherited with Family Dollar. The CEO of Dollar Tree says the two chains' unique needs have led to the possible split. While both are discount stores, Family Dollar caters to low-income customers in predominantly urban areas. Dollar Tree has more of a middle-income clientele in the suburbs.
Special case cereal is celebrating mothers and making history all at once. According to parent company Kellogg, a new special edition cereal box will be the first ever to feature a pregnant woman, cookbook author Molly Boss. Special K is also making a $25,000 donation to United Way in celebration of the partnership. It's all a part of the brand's special for a reason campaign. That wraps up your afternoon consumer news. As we head to break, here's a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. Where's the best place for fresh, quality, local meat? The Holman Locker and Meat Market, of course. Get your grills or smokers ready. This month, whole pork butt or whole beef briskets are on sale. Holman Locker and Meat Market and much, much more. Stop in today. Don't believe Tammy Baldwin's TV ads. Believe her record. Baldwin voted against $800 million for narcotic detection at our border. She voted against more Border Patrol agents, against tougher sentences for drug traffickers here illegally. No wonder overdose deaths have skyrocketed on Baldwin's watch, with cartel activity right here in Wisconsin. Two-Face Tammy, a hypocrite we can't trust. Fix Washington Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Big corporations and private equity firms are swooping in and buying up home improvement businesses all over the country, including right here in the Cooley region. These billion dollar corporations only care about one thing, big profits. Here at Clear Choice, our number one priority isn't big profits, it's you, our customer. Don't fall for inflated prices and impersonal service from these corporate giants. Stick with a local family owned company who for the past 26 years has always put its customers before profits. Call Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions today. The Picnic Bundle is back at the Holman Locker and Meat Market. The Picnic Bundle includes the meat buns and even dessert. Everything you need for your next picnic. Holman Locker and Meat Market and much, much more. Stop in today. What is a hero? Not the kind from comic books and movies saving the day. We're talking about everyday heroes. Those with a special kind of courage or ability. Those saving the day, one person at a time. News 8 Now wants to find those heroes and thank them for bettering our community. Go to news8000.com, click on Features, then Hometown Heroes to nominate someone you feel is truly a hometown hero. New research from University College London reveals adolescents diagnosed with internet addiction undergo brain changes that can fuel even more addictive behavior. The study also finds internet addiction can harm mental health, social relationships, academics, and career prospects. Researchers encourage young people to limit their internet usage. Americans are concerned about health care affordability as they get older. According to a new survey, 73% of Americans under 65 worry Medicare won't be available when they need it. And the numbers back that up. Medicare's trust fund is set to deplete in 2036. A birth control gel for men is showing promise in an early stage clinical trial. The hormonal gel is rubbed on each shoulder blade. Researchers say after applying it daily for 15 weeks, 86% of more than 200 men in the trial experienced an effective level of sperm production suppression. The desired effect was typically seen by the eighth week of treatment. The trial is expected to finish by the end of the year, and the next step would be a phase three clinical trial. A product is likely years away, and that would require FDA approval. Man's best friend really lives up to his name for military members and veterans with PTSD. A study in JAMA Network Open finds partnership with a trained psychiatric service dog reduces PTSD symptom severity, depression, and anxiety after three months compared with usual care alone. Those were some of today's top health headlines. Taking a live look outside now from CityCam 8, Bill is in next with a look at our forecast. During the Memorial Day event going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $500 on select Sealy adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. You may not know what to make of Eric Hovde, but if you're getting older or have a loved one who is, Eric Hovde has a plan for you. 
Eric Hovde thinks people living in nursing homes should not have the right to vote. That's right. If you're in a nursing home, you only have five, six month life expectancy. Almost nobody in a nursing home is in a point to vote. Stripping seniors of the right to vote? Eric Hovde, what's wrong with this guy? Your home, a place of comfort and safety, could be trying to tell you something. Interior cracks, sloping floors, hard to open doors and windows are all signals of foundation failure that you can't ignore. At American Waterworks, we use modern techniques and warranted solutions to restore your peace of mind in your home. After all, your home's foundation issues won't get better with time, but it will with our proven solutions. Choose confidence, choose reliability, choose American Waterworks. Service and savings, it's Goodman's. Hi, we're the Woodmans. I'm Clint. I'm Phil, saving you big time money on honey and tea. 12 ounce bargain bee honey, just two for $5. Or 20 count Bigelow tea, two for $5. I can run the hot, hot prices on honey and tea. Bargain bee, two for five. Bigelow, also two for five. Enjoy honey and tea season and save lots of money. Better, better products, products better, better prices, prices, better service, because we're employee owned. It's good men's. During the Memorial Day event going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $800 on select Stearns & Foster adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. Hey, welcome back and a good Wednesday afternoon too. We'll start with the allergy report. High symptoms across the board today and tomorrow for pine trees and grass pollen. And expect plenty of grass pollen in the air uh, during the month of June. It's grass pollen season. Temperatures today right around 80. Your mowing forecast. We'll have to watch the radar later this afternoon for some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. And then mainly dry tomorrow and Friday. Rather windy tomorrow and cooler as well. And then uh, partly uh, cloudy conditions on Friday. All right, we have some clouds starting to materialize to our west after plenty of sunshine through the morning hours. 77, the high so far today after a low of 60. 79 and 57 are the averages. Boy, another hot record high three years ago. 99 degrees on this date three years ago in 2021. 40, the record low, and since midnight, uh, 0.13 inches of rain uh, fell out at the La Crosse Airport, but that is uh, now well to our east. 77 degrees at the airport, 76 downtown. Winds out of the west at 15, gusting over 20 miles per hour so they're picking up and the Mississippi is rising 9.06 feet could rise above 10 feet uh, Friday night or early Saturday morning as a lot of wet weather across the region uh, dumping into that basin and the Mississippi is going to be running high over the next couple of weeks. 74 for you folks in Eau Claire winds out of the west southwest 14 gusting to 23. The Chippewa River is high as well but it is uh, falling just a bit uh, midday today. Current temperatures primarily in the 70s. We've got 74 in Black River Falls, 77 in Winona, 73 in Sparta and 74 in Prairie du Chien. Dew points quite a bit lower today. You'll probably feel that if if you're out and about, uh, pleasant to comfortable air, so quite a bit less humid uh, this afternoon and tonight. And that's going to be the trend with dew points primarily in the lower to middle 50s. Again, winds from the west southwest to 10 to 20, gusting 30 miles per hour and could gust even higher over parts of southeastern Minnesota and northeastern Iowa as the afternoon progresses. So last night's rain has now shifted into the central Great Lakes. Now we've got this little trough, this little spoke of energy on the southern side of that area of low pressure to the north. Uh, that'll be the cause for some additional showers and thunderstorms uh, this afternoon and early this evening. But there'll be a lot more hit and miss than what we've seen with the past couple of rounds of storms. So SkyTracker shows that after about 2 p.m. or so, some showers and storms up to the north and west. Then we all have a chance later this afternoon into this evening. Still think the highest chances will be to the north and then those quickly fall apart after sunset with clearing skies overnight. Uh, some passing clouds tomorrow, but primarily dry and windy and then uh, plenty of sunshine heading into our Friday. Now the storm prediction centers extended the level one risk to include all areas. I still think the higher severe threat is to the north here. Uh, 2 to 8 p.m. Maybe some gusty winds and small hail. We'll keep an eye on it for you. And rain trackers showing any rain that falls will be uh, generally a quarter inch or less for most. 
uh, maybe a little bit more in far northern sections of the viewing area. So for today, breezy, less humid, chance of those scattered showers and thunderstorms, 80 for the high, 59 tonight with any showers ending early. Tomorrow, windy and cooler, highs in the 60s to around 70, still kind of breezy Friday, 75, and mainly dry with highs in the 70s through the weekend, uh, even those rain chances next Tuesday and Wednesday on the low end. So, uh, boy, it's been wet as of late, so some much needed dry time over the next eight days. Alexandra? Yeah, we will definitely take it. Thank you, Bill. This World War II plane defended Britain and Americans on D-Day. An up-close and personal look at the iconic Spitfire is next. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. You never want to leave your kitchen. Spring forward on your new kitchen or bath projects. Visit our showroom and speak with one of our designers today. By your cabinets, Highway 16, West Salem. It's hard to explain what this feels like. Moving piles of earth, towing up to 4,000 pounds, cutting millions of blades of grass. We could keep trying to put it into words, but nothing compares to experiencing it for yourself. You just have to get in the seat. Conquer every task on your list. Visit Tractor Central, take a seat, and see for yourself why nothing runs like a deer. Start now at TractorCentral.com. At River Valley Remodelers, we know that the bathroom is the most personal space in your house. That's why we don't come in with preconceived ideas or cookie cutter installs. We'll sit down and talk with you about your needs and dreams. Whether it's a tub or shower or an entire bathroom design, we'll take the time to talk with you and get things just the way you want it. For a limited time, get a free shower door or a color upgrade with your shower purchase. So let's talk about the most personal room in your house. River Valley Remodelers, improve your home, build our community. You never want to leave your kitchen by your cabinet. Spring forward on your new kitchen or bath projects. Visit our showroom and speak with one of our designers today. By your cabinets, Highway 16, West Salem. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. Tomorrow marks 80 years since D-Day when Allied forces landed on the beaches of Normandy. Helping to protect American troops from the air on that day was the Spitfire. CBS's Ian Lee takes flight. This British Spitfire roars to life. The iconic 1750 horsepower Merlin engine and elliptical wings made it a predator in the sky. The Spitfire was able to not only compete, but actually outperform a lot of the German fighters. The Spitfire hunted Germans over Britain and Europe during World War II in the country's darkest hour. And against all odds, it fought off the Nazi war machine, etching itself into the heart of the nation. It's known most for protecting the UK in the Battle of Britain. It played a massive part in D-Day as well. Even American pilots learned to love the plane. The first U.S. fighter group in Europe, the 31st, called this airfield home. So Americans came over and they were given British Spitfires and they absolutely loved them. So this is the airplane we're going to fly today in. Matt Jones of Spitfires.com maintains five of the roughly 70 planes still left. A small army keeps them flying for thrill seekers. So this is the parachute. And one lucky correspondent. We believe this place is sort of a living museum. You know, museums have a very important role in telling a story and protecting artifacts. But a Spitfire isn't a Spitfire unless it's in the air. And it's in the air where we learn what makes the Spitfire a legend. Right, here comes the fun. All right. The fighter banks, barrel rolls, and dives. Matt puts it through its paces. You pull back. Steve and I take control of the roughly $5 million piece of history. You can just feel the power. This nimble Spitfire, which fought in the war, 
doesn't show its age at all. This plane can definitely take a lot more G's than I can. <laughs> and eight decades later, the Spitfire remains a soaring symbol of resilience and victory. Ian Lee, CBS News, Chichester, England. During the war, Britain made more than 21,000 of those Spitfires, and it's the only fighter airplane to fight throughout the entire war. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. We've done many, many renovations. We bought an old house and have made it into an up-to-date house. Whenever anything involves plumbing, the first call I make is to Maxwell White. Their technicians put together a great final product. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Be prepared for flooding and keep your basement dry with Barracuda sump pumps. Remove water quickly with this half horsepower cast iron sump pump. Now $133.49 after rebate. Keep your yard beautiful with help from Yard Works. They offer a variety of landscape tools and products to get your garden tasks done and keep your lawn looking healthy. This garden hose is $44.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Are you ready to build your future? Stella Jones Corporation in Bangor is hiring and wants you to apply. Starting wage for laborers up to $18 per hour with a $2,500 hiring bonus. No experience but a great attitude? Then apply today. Stella Jones Corporation is where safety matters and wages sustain a comfortable living. If you have what it takes and can stand behind our railroads, then we want you to apply today. The pain level was over 10. There's days where I just sat and cried and, and asked the good Lord to take me. And my doctor recommended that I go to Good Feet and try the arch supports. And I took about three, four steps, turned around and went and sat back down and started to cry. It was the first time that I had no pain. I'm not an actor. I want people to know my testimony. I want them to know what arch supports can do from Good Feet. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. Whether it's a bathroom remodel or comprehensive plumbing services, we at Maxwell White strive to keep our neighbors safe and comfortable in their homes, offering honest, upfront pricing on every service, all backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Call Maxwell White today. The First Warren Weather App. Download it today. Again, breezy, less humid this afternoon, highs in the mid-70s to lower 80s. Chance for some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms this afternoon into early this evening. Highest rain chances north. Uh, windy and cooler tomorrow, highs in the 60s to around 70. Still kind of breezy Friday and highs in the 70s right through the weekend. All right, Bill, thank you. And thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. We'll see you back here tonight. Until then, enjoy your Wednesday.